All right, welcome back to our channel, and my name is Karel. You can call me Kila. So today we are going to talk about how can we use the MetaHuman with the third-person controller. So uh, I'm doing this is because one of our uh, subscriber Nitro uh, actually say, "Hey, can you make a tutorial how to use our created MetaHuman as a third-person character?" Uh, I think yeah, I think that's a really good idea, uh, and it's simple. Uh, it's easy for people uh, do not know how to use Unreal Engine or maybe just want to try it uh, to know how to do some simple mapping and that's why we're going to do this tutorial today uh, I don't want to go too deep but uh, it's good to start from basic so now uh, when we open the previous project we have created if you didn't watch the previous video please feel free to go search the uh, playlist on the metahuman topics that we have earlier uh, we talked about how to use lifelink and then we also talk about how do you create your own MetaHuman by using the MetaHuman creator and then import to Unreal Engine. If you don't want to go watch it, but basically it's simple, just go to the bridge uh, after you create your creator, export to your project, choose the path properly, and then you're able to export it with the project open. So here's our folder. Here's our Monkey King. <clears throat> and we want to import this to our uh, third person project so that we could use it uh, and we don't have to reinvent the wheel so which is really simple uh, but before we do all that there's a really common problem on the uh, asset for some of the new hair is when you go to the blueprint and when your camera is actually far away uh, your hair don't render basically you'll be bald and how do you solve that is you go to LD sync and you go to force LD and set it to zero. So basically it was minus one earlier. And when I do this, you see the hair actually is gone. Minus one is actually in default. So you wanna able to choose zero to solve this problem. You see? Compile and save. All right, so that's simple. And the next thing we want to do is we want to migrate the MetaHuman to our new project. And let's go to the Epic Launcher, launch the Unreal Engine. All right, and it's just game, next. And then we want to choose third person, and then we don't choose next. And then I'll create my project in a unique name, uh, better human. Maybe I'll just put demo first. Demo meta for person. All right, so this will be our project name. I'll create my project. Now we just need to wait. So we got this now, third person project, uh, which is the simple third person project that we have it from Unreal Engine. And we wanna minimize it now. And then we wanna migrate this. So what we want to do, uh, we don't need any other thing, but we just need the MetaHuman. And because the MetaHuman actually have a common folder that includes skeleton and we have all the material and texture we want in our character. So I'm gonna right click the MetaHumans and I'm gonna choose Migrate. If you use Unity before, it's really similar with the export package feature, except you have to import your package yourself. Uh, in Migrate, you just need to select your project. So I wanna save selected and you see the assets, which is everything we want. I press OK. And then want to go to Unreal Engine project and choose demo meta third person and go to content, select folder. And we're just in the wait.
All right, content migration completed successfully. Great. So because my computer is kind of weak, so I need to turn this off or else uh, my computer will be dying. But anyway, I have my third person example map on now. And when I go to the content folder, you will be able to see uh, your Amanda human photo get imported and you see Kila and Monkey King. Uh, well, Kila is the character that I created earlier and Monkey King is the one that we created together uh, through the tutorial we have earlier. Great. So now let's look into the Monkey King. All right, so we did get a Monkey King, but let's double click and check it out. Oh, crap. So many things we need to enable. Let's enable the missing settings, plugin, and project settings. And reset our arm. And I'll go open open my editor back. Great. And now when we go to the viewport, you should be able to see the character imported. Hooray. Great. Step one completed. What we want to do next is we want to create the third person blueprint. We want to duplicate this. And I'm going to name it uniquely Monkey King Fur Person. All right. So I'll open it. And I want to go to viewport. You see the mannequin character, which is great. And what we want to do next is we want to map all our monkey king mesh over here to the mesh over here so how can we do that um, the simplest way i mean one of the simplest way is we want to do this let's see do this and then choose this <clears throat> we don't want to reinvent the wheel so we're gonna map it one by one uh just use the blueprint over here and don't have to do anything special. First of all, I'm going to copy the LED sync because I want to, oh, maybe I'll do it in the end. I want to do the face. So I don't just drag and drop over here and name it face. Unfortunately, you will need to do it one by one too. So there we go. You can do it all at once, but uh, you have to go through each of them and rename it anyways. So this is the common ways that uh, do to use the first person controller was I slash the beer and the next thing we want to do is the torso Map it to the mesh. Uh, and also, and the legs, and of course you want the uh, parent relationship is the same. So feed to the mesh, not the face. All right. So last but not least, LD sync copy. And paste it over here. All right. So it's all done. Now we press compile and press save. And then uh, when we look back to our project, oh, I mean, I need to close this. We're going to close the uh, Monkey King for a person so that it actually reload the mesh. All right, so let's put that in here. And let me double click it. And viewport. Hooray! Whoa, what the heck is happening? All right, so somehow we have the face anime BP in. So turn it off. <laughs> Holy cow. What's going on here? Let's see. It's 
so we have the first person pp here somehow oh this is like the alien did they do anything wrong Oh yeah, we need to choose the skeleton uh, of the Monkey King, which we can able to see over here. So when we go to the body, and then you see over here, and met body, and then you go back to third person, and then just press the arrow. Ta-da! Whew! The alien was scary. All right. All right, all right. So we got this. Compile, save, and then when we go back to the map, uh, you want to remove this. Just click this and then delete. And then when you press play, it should show. Not this one. Oh, yeah. We want to go back to our map. So we didn't map the third person yet. So go back to our mannequin, uh, no mannequin, I mean the third person blueprint, blueprints, and go to third person game mode. And then over here, you want to choose the blueprint we created, monkey king third person. And then compile, save, go back to map, and then when you press play, ta-da, yay! But our animation is weird. Wah. All right, we great. We have this in, but we want it to move uh, with the animation. So what we need to do next is we do something really common. Uh, it's called retargeting the animation. So save all in case you crash and then you lost all your work. So. We want to look into the skeleton on the third person controller. So for the third person character we have uh, for the mannequin, uh, it's actually located over here. And when you look into the character and the mesh, you're able to see the skeleton over here. UE4 mannequin skeleton. So when you double click it, we will be able to see the skeleton over here. Uh, and when we press character, bones, and all hierarchy, and then you able to see the bone structure over here. And when we move back to our monkey king for person, and then go back to our mesh, and then select our body, double click it, select skeleton. And if your skeleton didn't show, just remember character, um, and then go to the bones, and then select the all hierarchy. And you see the bones over here. You can see there are more details on the metahuman bones. So uh, when we retargeting it, we want it to map properly, maybe on the upper part of the body. So what we're going to do is we go to the mannequin skeleton, go to retarget manager. We're going to set it to the humanoid. And the default should looks fine. And then we want to save it. Great. And the next thing you want to do is we want to go to the metahuman base skeleton. And then we want to go to the retarget manager. And then we want to also select the human rank. But this time we want to choose a spine to be third, fourth, fifth. And then we want to save it. But these are not done yet because we want to look into the skeleton tree choose option, show retargeting options before you target it. We will able to see animation on the root and the purpose. And other than that, all our skeleton. So we want to do the same to our metahuman base skeleton. Skeleton tree, uh, show retargeting options. Uh, choose animation over here. Recursively set to skeleton. And on the fly arrow, also right click, recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Fly left, recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. 
the same on the last part and then save and then save all right so we did all the preparation before we retarget the animation so now we want to go back to the mannequin animation and we will see the third person anime blueprint bp that is actually used by the uh, third person controller so we want to right click this retarget anime blueprints duplicate and retarget so we want to choose the meta human base skeleton which is what we did earlier and I want to choose a prefix so that it's easier for me. I'm going to choose Monkey King. And then we're going to choose Retarget. Go! All right. So even you only see the pants, uh, it should work. So what we want to do next is we want to go back to the Monkey King for a person we created earlier. We want the ready pose to be the uh, anime blueprint that we want to use for the anime class. So we want to type monkey king for person anime blueprint. Oops, you see the pants and the shoes is not mapping properly. So you want to do it separately on the legs. And then type monkey king again. Uh, you can create your unique name, it doesn't matter. Go to your feet. Select the shoes all right so this should be done compile save and there shouldn't be any problem and hopefully this will work so let's go back to map and now i'm gonna press play hooray we got the idle motion let's see the running good 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 oh, yeah. good 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 all right, good. All right, so that's how you do the third person controller uh, with the, at the human. Uh, if this helped you a little bit, please press like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.